Hello and you're very welcome to this final episode in our video series in association with Fingal Libraries. I'm Aidan from EmpireKidsWorkshops.com and uh, over the last few episodes we've been looking at different creatures native that you may see on your travels on your way to school or from school in or in your garden. So today we're going to be having a look at our friends um, Few a few other insects, but today we're going to start with with our spider friends. So uh, there's over forty five thousand different species of uh, spiders, and we have over eleven 1 hundred native to this country, uh, which you may see in the country. So we have sort of uh, nine common ones, which you see a lot more than than other species. So you have some of them like the 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 cross or weaver, which is the guy on the left there. All spiders produce silk and. Uh, the females can lay up to 3,000 eggs any time. A lot of people don't like them. Um, their arachnids closest to them would be uh, scorpions, ticks, or mites. They be their closest relatives. Um, and then we have our friend, which comes in at the sink there, which is our, our common house spider. And he would appear in your sinks or in your in your uh, kitchen or bathroom in around October, November. And really, he's just looking for somewhere warm to cuddle up for the winter. They, uh, as I said, they can they can lay over 3,000 eggs. They can live anything up to 25 years. But the common ones that we'd know, the ones around would be between one and three years would be their lifespan. And uh, we have our friend there down in the bottom in the middle, and that's the false widow. So this guy has been introduced to the country in it came into the country in the late 90s and um yeah so uh, he's he's coming and he can give a good little bite so you want to stay away from him just remember him and remember the way he's, he's on he's white on the back there and that's the false widow a lot of the other spiders really won't go near you if you leave them alone they'll just run away they're a lot more afraid of you than you are so but just watch out for that guy the false widow he can give a really nasty bite so that's our spiders. As Sala said to you, we have nine common. We have over 1,100 species in the country, nine common ones. Again, very, very good for our whole environment and our whole ecosystem. So please do not uh, put your foot on them. Just pick them up and throw them outside and let them let them go about their business. They won't go near you. And they do a lot of good work for us. Other ones which you, which you may not see is, is our only reptile. This is our only reptile we have in the country. And uh, believe it or not, his name is, uh, in my view, a little bit silly. He's the common Irish lizard. <laughs> I I went looking for this guy lots of times. I've never found him, but um, fabulous little liver. Up to a little lizard. He lives up to about, um, grows up to about 16 centimetres, so slightly of palm. Um, and he sort of would, would mainly come out between March and October. And uh, they normally come out in the daytime. They like to sit on a rock and get some heat into them, and they would take out little flies, and that's what they normally eat. They they live for up to about four to four to six years, uh, and very very little, low little creatures. So that's our only reptile as a common lizard. A lot of them are found on sort of the on the west coast. Um, uh, more sightings that I've heard. Now, if you've seen them this way, maybe make, make sure you let somebody know if you've seen them along this side of the country. But a, a lovely little, a lovely little guy, and it's our only reptile. And these guys as well, fabulous. These are our our common um, amphibians. So these are we have three in the country. We have three species. So we have our common newt, which is the guy on the left. We have our frog, which is the one in the, uh, the in the middle, and then we have our natterjack toad, which is the, the one on the right. So these are we have three species in the country. Um, the natterjack toad lives for about uh, it's about fourteen years, and he would he may be in shallow water. Again, these are all protected species, so you cannot go near them. And then we have our frog, which lives for about 12 years and um, he um, then we have uh, our, our common newt then which lives a little bit longer than them so he lives about 16 years bog marshy uh, marshy areas is where you find them they normally would all feed on insects worms slugs like that and um, they each of them would sort of do two two hatches a year of of, uh, of their eggs and um, basically it takes about 10, 10 weeks uh, for, for it to turn in fully, but we it's called frog spawn, which you can see on the bottom right hand corner. And uh, so 21 days for it to sort of hatch and sort of start making its shape, really. 21 days to start making its shape. Uh, so the the legs will start to appear, and then it works out another to, oh, to about 10 weeks, then is when it turns into a frog, a newt, or a toad. So yeah, again, all protected species. Uh, keep your eye out for them in boggy, marshy areas. That's where you see them in ponds. And that fabulous, fabulous creatures, and there are amphibians. And then we have this guy, which is our crayfish. Oh yes, I love this crayfish. They're fabulous. Um, 
to live to about seven to eight years and where you uh, their closest relatives would be naturally a lobster you could sort of see they only live in sort of clean sort of water you won't find them in sort of murky water so if you see them say in a canal or, or a a lake or a river near you it means the water is good and healthy which is always a great sign there's 540 different species worldwide and they can lay anything from 100 to 200 eggs so there are crayfish they're fabulous and a close relation they can watch them they give you a nice little nip um but yeah they're 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 really really fabulous to see and i love seeing them down so if you're in say in a, in a canal or something near you have a look in the water near you normally see them they hunt at night so normally coming out at night is where you see them move along the bed of the river or canal now we're going to move out of the water we're going to have a look at our birds so what's above the water and these are our birds which you may find near water and we're going to have a look at our first friend here is our friend the kingfisher which is the top left there's over 100 species of kingfisher around the world uh, asia and africa is where there's a, where there's a lot of species uh, fish insects and reptiles is what, what they take so the likes of the little uh, newts and them these guys would take them um, they can lay anything up to 10, 10 eggs and they live for about 14 years so fabulous fisher you'll see them in the banks uh, little trees, little perches along, and they're brilliant to see, beautiful colours. They're not very big, so keep your eye out for them, but it's lovely to see them. And then we have our friend the heron, so which is probably one of the tallest. They can grow up to 55 inches in, in, in height. There's 64 species totally of him, and they live for about 15 years. And these guys, believe it or not, would be, um, they, uh, they they have their nests up in the tops of trees and they can have uh, they can lay four to six uh, four to six eggs and they would feed on again they would sort of go on the crayfish they would go on frogs toads iron and fish as well so lovely to see them they're a huge huge bird as well like our friend the swan and we have our swan which is um um, basically our, our swans we have we they, they mate for life and we have the male which is called the cob and the female is which is called uh, the pen and then they have their signets uh, so they normally lay three to ten eggs and um, great uh, great uh, swimmers as well as flyers the swans can fly up to 60 miles an hour so yeah they're beautiful seeing them seeing them around you see them in the summer in all our waterways so keep an eye out for them and um, then we have our friend, the last one on this slide is our friend the cormorant. You normally see them in sort of faster waters, deeper waters. They can stay up to uh, up over a minute underneath the water when they're fishing and um, great to see them. So they're called the cormorant and them guys can live up over 10 years as well and they lay four to eight eggs. Fabulous, fabulous birds and there are sort of some of our more familiar water birds that you may see. And then what you might see in the garden is when you look out your garden um, and what um, I think every house you do is maybe get some bird feeders and you'll see some of these guys. So the robin is the one in the middle. Of course, you all know him and uh, very territorial. Doesn't uh, doesn't like uh, other robins or other birds coming near him, uh, but mainly other robins. You don't know, see them in pairs um, all year round. Wor uh, worms, insects, snails is a pot you feed on and he lives for about four to six years. And then we have our friend the goldfinch with the one, and the male is the one with the red face. Uh, so you'd always know the male and female. So the male is the one with the red face. Again, all year round, you, you can see them come around and they sort of would feed on seeds, but the one thing to do love is, is sort of sunflower seeds. They'd be more prevalent to, to go for that. So if you're putting the feeder out and you want to, you, you want to uh, attract a goldfinch, maybe get some sunflower seeds in it and put it into your, into your feeder and you'll see they'll come along. And then we have our friend, the little guy in the bottom right hand corner, and that's our wren. There's 83 different species of wrens worldwide. They live for about nine years, and, but they're brilliant, brilliant, brilliant singers, and they're really, really loud. You can you pick out a wren's, a wren's um, singing voice anywhere. Um, they lay about eight, eight eggs. Um, and um, yeah, as I said, they live for about, uh, live for about nine years. So uh, uh, excellent little creature. And then our friend, the whitetail, so which is the top left hand corner. He lives for about 11 years and his insects, um, he would sort of feed under the feeder. So, so if you had bird feeders, he'd be the one on the ground coming in around picking up all the little uh, the little bits that come around. Lovely to see. And uh, they actually roost together during the winter time. And they can lay up to 4,000 or they can be up to 4,000 in, uh, in, a, in a roosting. So you can have a, basically a tree just covered in them during, during the winter time. And they all roost together to keep warm. So fabulous, fabulous! There are garden birds, and we have our last one there. That slide is our is our friend called the, the blue tit. 
and um, you can distinguish him because he has a blue crown and then we have a cold tip which is one that has a black crown so you can distinguish them there are birds which you may see in your back garden if you get some feeders we're moving on to our birds of prey now which we have here and which we have this fella this is one of my favorites again this is the barn owl he lives for about five years he lays four to six eggs and they would feed mainly on voles and shrews and mouse, mouse mice at night time and they, they hunt mainly at night but they're very very quiet so these are you wouldn't you wouldn't hear them yeah they they give a screech they give a screech at the only time you know they're around uh, and when, when they're young or dead so they give a screech a fabulous fabulous creature and then our other friend is the bottom left hand corner which is the long eared owl and uh this guy has yellow eyes you can sort of see bright yellow eyes and he's called a long eared owl even though they're not his ears they're just tufts of feathers there his ears are in behind to put the back back of his eyes and uh, back further back on his head from his eyes so again he would uh he would hunt on voles and shrews and stuff like that at night so these are our elves and they're they're fabulous um Fabulous, fabulous creature. I'd say, I'd say four to six eggs is what, they, what they, each of them have. And then we're moving on to our birds of prey. So we have our birds of prey here. We have the sparrow hawk, which is our only native bird of prey in Ireland, which is the bottom left hand corner. And they were nearly hunted to extinction. Nearly every bird of prey that was in Ireland had come in, they were hunted to extinction. But sparrow hawks live for about 20 years and they're a brilliant, brilliant uh, hunter. And they would hunt mainly in, in, in woodland. So you normally see them in woodlands. There's 51 different species of uh, the sparrow hawks and um, of the hawks and um, the female is the bigger one. And over them you can sort of see the one that's over him then is our kestrel. You see them along your motorways or roads, busy roads, and they always hunt along the side of the roads and they do be hovering up over over them, over the road about sort of 50, 60 foot up in the air. Um, they again would hunt on um, hunt again for small mammals and they can lay two two to uh, four eggs. They can live about 10 years, so that's that's them. Then we have our bottom right hand corner. There's one of my favorites. I love seeing them soaring up in the sky, and that's our buzzards. There's 48 different species of buzzards um, uh, uh, in the world, and uh, their wingspan can be up to six foot long, but they're an absolute fabulous. So a buzzard would actually, he would hunt, um, he would hunt rabbits and pigeons. That's what they would take. So they're excellent, excellent hunters, and uh, beautiful to see. And last but not least on this slide you can sort of see our friend in the in the fella's hand there is our golden eagle lives for about 20 years wingspan can be seven foot long so they're a big big bird excellent excellent hunters as well and you just find them in mountains and cliffs as well they wouldn't be down lowlands or the near cities or whatever they're normally up in the mountains and cliffs again they would take anything from rabbits to, to birds to, to fish so that's our birds of prey uh these guys, not many people know much about them. We are, we have got nine different species in, in, in Ireland. So these are our bats. So we have nine different species. But the common ones would be the pipistrel, the long, long, uh, the long-eared, uh, and the lesser bat. So they'd be our three main species. They hunt with with a with a sensor, like a radar, which is, you can see at the bottom right hand corner there, and. Um, they we have three main species and they live for up to about eight years and they're excellent excellent hunters at night and the amount of insects they they take away at night is just is, it's unbelievable little moths insects anything like that that's flying at night they, they can take um they are excellent pollinators so they are nearly important more important than our bees for pollinating so they pollinate 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 and it's brilliant they do all this at night so bats, we have nine species in the country, but we have three main species. So it's the pipistrelle, the lesser bat, and the brown long-eared bat. So they're the ones we have, which you may see at night if you go for a walk with your parents or with your siblings. So um, other things you might see at night would be these guys. So these are these are some of our other um, creatures which you may see. And we have our course and this. We have our, our foxes, which are part of a dog family. And we... Um, they live for up to about five years. Uh, the, the the male is called a dog and the female is a vixen and then they have their pups. And they're great, great hunters as well. So they can have anything they can take, so um, larger insects, mice, whatever like that, uh, they may take and uh, they can take birds as well. So great, great, uh, great to see some of them back around again because they're really, really good for our environment. Great to see. And then we have underneath him is the guy which you may not see too much about, but he, he's called a pine martin. And these, uh, they, they live for about 15 years. Um, 
great great hunters they, they have really big feet but on their feet they have a retractable claws so like a cat though they can be nice and smooth for bouncing around but then they can climb a tree and the thing about uh, the pine they have a very uh, sweet tooth so they love sweet things and they can um they, so they take small rodents they eat fruit uh, and as well as they can do that they can raid nests and uh, birds eggs and stuff uh, we have our friend down in the middle, the wolf. The last wolf known to Ireland was in the 17th century. 1780s was the last wolf that was known. And then uh, they were basically hunted to extinction. Um, they're fabulous. They, they live, in, live in a pride. It's, it's, it's called a pride, a pack of up to 30 wolves who live in it really, really fast. They, they, they would go for deer or hare. That's what they'd hunt for. And uh, they can run up to 40, 40 miles per hour. So they're fabulous. And they can afford six pups at any one time uh, when they're breeding. And our friend, the bottom right, the badger. The badger is, um, there's actually 11 species of badger. And the closest relation would be the, the otter or the weasel would be a close relation. And uh, they love eating slugs, snails, uh, uh, maybe little frogs, whatever at night. Um, again, again, a lot they live in a thing called a set. So it's a set that can be a fifteen badgers in the one set. So they're really, really family orientated. All of these, like the fox, the wolf, the pymar, and all these guys, really live in sort of large families. So it's brilliant to see. Um, and then our last but not least is the mink. Uh, not a very liked species in Ireland. Um, he was brought in, he's the North American, uh, he was brought in from, from North America, he's the mink, um, he was introduced into the country, uh, they can live for about 10 years, um, but what happens is they can go in and uh, they, they basically are not very good for our environment, but um, they can um, live for about 10 years, as I said, and they can have uh, four to six young as well, so that's the mink, it's a pure black, you see them along rivers and stuff like that. And the last but not least in this series, so we're just going to talk about this, and I can't believe we're sort of finished it already. We're we're um, we flew through it, but we're going to speak about our native red deer. So um, they live for about sixteen years. They're the largest uh, mammal that we have native to native to to our country is the large uh, the deer, um, and the male is the one with the, with the antlers. So the male is the antlers. And uh, the female won't have antlers, so that's how you distinguish them. Uh, grass and shrubs, they're sort of mainly found in uh, in uh, sort of higher up mountains and that. But although you can see them in Phoenix Park, there's a fabulous lot of them in Phoenix Park. And then beside them, then we have our friends, the rabbits. Um, the female is a doe, and the male is called a buck. And they live for about 10 years and they eat sort of plants, grass, and stuff like that. They have around 12 young uh, when they're breeding. And uh, the young, the youngest are called kit. Uh, they're called kits as well. So um, the uh, rabbits again, very prominent. It's great to see them out in the fields and when you're on the wild. Nothing like seeing a, a little rabbit with their young. It's fabulous seeing them. Uh, great, great species for our for our environment as well. And then the bigger than that then is the hare. So the guy on the right hand side there, um, he's a lot bigger than a rabbit. Lives for about eight years. And you can find them up in sort of more mountainy areas or bigger grass plains. And they're very, very fast. They can run up to 45 miles an hour. And they can jump as well when they're running. They can jump nearly over 10 feet in height. So they're very, very, uh, very, very uh, fast and well-adapted species to getting away from the likes of uh, um, anybody who wants to hunt them. Um, so, Folks, it's been lovely speaking to you about our sort of some of our wildlife that we have. So I know we went through lots of things, insects and all of that, and uh, it's been lovely speaking to you. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much. I'd like to thank Fingal Libraries very much, and I hope to see you all again soon, maybe, and we can we can sort of speak about some more native species to our country. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much from Aiden and Kids Workshops. Um, if you need to get in contact me, you can contact me on that email or check out my website. Thank you very much. Goodbye.